Hi, I'm Kony Cat, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and play Leaf for a two-player game. Um, it plays one to four players, runs about 30 minutes. Uh, it's a tile placing game, but instead of tiles, uh, traditional tiles, you're going to be using these cool leaves here to place them out on the board and make cool things happen. You're going to grow mushrooms. You're going to attract woodland animals. You're going to send squirrels up the tree to store up for the winter. Um, all the fun things you do in fall to prepare for winter, collecting acorns and the person who takes care of the forest the most wins. So let me show you how to set this up. Here's a two player setup for Leaf. We are gonna start with the animal board here. You're gonna shuffle all the animal cards and place five of them out in the spaces here. You are gonna take the sun token, place that on the furthest left and have this board in reach of all the players. You're gonna have our tree in the reach of all players and then we're going to have our leaves uh, shuffled and placed at each spot um, there are six tiles that have this marker this marker means this needs to be on top so each leaf kind has that little symbol here and that is going to be the one that starts on top of each pile uh, we have our sun tokens within reach we have our one point acorns we have our five point acorns we have our 20 point acorns right here, and we have our negative three acorns. <laughs> um, I'll explain how you get these. <laughs> and uh, for our leaf deck, we're gonna shuffle this up. We're gonna draw three cards for each player to start with. So yellow has three and green has three. Um, each player is gonna choose their color. They are going to get a corresponding helper sheet here. One side shows the turnover view and one side shows the scoring. So we're going to place that for each player. Uh, each player also gets a little scoring squirrel meeple that's going to hang out in the middle here while he, they climb the tree. And then we have two leaves that have this symbol on it, this little, I'm going to try to scooch in a little more, this little whirly symbol. Uh, these two are starting leaves for our game. Um, you're going to place them so two points reach, touch the other two points, and it's going to look like this to start. And the player who most recently took a walk in the forest gets the first player token. We're going to say that's yellow. And that is how you set up for a two-player game. Let's do a quick overview on how to play the game. Uh, on your player sheet here, it will show you your turnover view, everything you can do and how to play. This side will show you how the scoring works. Um, I will go through it briefly here since it's really laid out simply, and I'm just gonna use one player to show you as an example. They're gonna be our first player. <laughs> so we've got everything set up. On your turn, you're going to have to play a leaf card and play a leaf from that pile out into the tiles out here. Um, I will show you how this works. So let's say, let's use this Trident Maple card. We're gonna play this and have a discard pile right here. We're gonna pick the Trident Maple, that's this one here, and we're gonna place it. And placing it, you'll see on each leaf, there are these little symbols here. Those are the ends that you can connect and the stem also counts as a connector. You have to connect two uh, in order to play a piece. So we could play like this and this one would touch here and touch here. We could place it the same down here. <laughs> um, we could place it here and go out this way and get a touch here and a touch here. And same on this side, can do this here and get here. If you notice each color uh, on the leaves has a symbol on it. Uh, orange has the animal paw, green has the leaf, uh, yellow has uh, the sun token here, um, brown has a tree and red has a mushroom. And these are all the actions you can take when you connect two uh, points to two points here. Um, when you place it, say I place here, you're gonna get the actions based on what you connected with, not with what you place. So if you place this orange one here and it touches this green and this orange, you'll get one green action and one orange action. If you were to play it over here, you would get two green actions. If you played it over here, you would get two orange actions. So I will go through what those actions are. If I did this here, the green action lets you draw that many leaf cards. So I draw one leaf card and the animal action lets you take an animal. That would let me draw one animal. If I went over here 
and had two animals, I could draw two animal cards. If I went over here, I could grab two leaf cards. Now the other actions that you have available besides leaf and animal cards, um, you can move up the tree as many spaces as you touch. Um, and as you climb up, you get the actions that are listed here. You can get a sun token, you can get an acorn, you can get an animal card, you can get a leaf as you go up. Um, for, for the yellow and the sun tokens, every end that touches here, you would get that many sun tokens. Um, which are, oops, which are these tokens here. And when you get three of these, you are able to turn them in and move up the season track here. Last but not least, we have the mushroom token. Um, I'm going to place a couple out here so you, we can see how this works. Um, let me try to do this smooth. Okay. Let's say I placed this guy. We'll do a couple here. We place the mushroom here. We would get two uh, leaf cards. We would get two animal cards for touching two of each of those. When we place this guy and touch the mushroom here, we can place one of our mushroom tokens. Um, one side is the baby mushroom and the other side is the adult mushroom. Baby mushrooms will not score. Adult mushrooms do score. So. When you have the opportunity to place a mushroom, you can place it on any leaf that isn't occupied by your own color. So I could place that one here, and that's the baby side. And because I have another mushroom action, I can either place another mushroom, baby mushroom, um, or I can upgrade this one here to the adult. Now, for the animal cards, um, as you collect them and pick them up, uh, some of them have these acorn tokens that will give you one acorn when you grab it. Um, and acorns are your point system in this game. And one last thing to note is when, when another player places a leaf and it connects with a leaf that has a mushroom on it, if that mushroom is someone else's mushroom, they get a sun token if they are the biggest mushroom on that leaf. Um, but it does not count for the player who placed it. It's a little tricky. Uh, they make it clear in the instructions, um, but just know that if you place a leaf and somebody else's mushroom is there, you might be giving them something <laughs> extra <laughs> that you don't want to do. <laughs> um, the only other thing to note about the game itself is that if at some point you don't have any more leaf cards, say at the beginning of your next turn, you are completely out, you will have to take a hit. You will take a minus three acorns and then you can draw two cards into your hand so stay on top of these green ones <laughs> like, don't risk everything to lose them because you will lose points if you do not stay on top of having green cards to play because you have to play a leaf tile every turn uh, the other thing to note for the animal cards as you collect them let's say i grabbed a couple uh toads here and I have a fox here you're going to collect them above your uh, helper sheet here if you see here there's a winter den marked down oops, sorry marked down below here um, you're going to keep these up here when the sun token moves as people turn in their three sun tokens to move it one the person who moves it gets the acorn value here um, I'll move this in a little closer so you can see <laughs> instead of moving my camera because I might knock everything over. So here you'll see there's a six, six. As you, um, the pl player who moves the token to that spot will get that many acorn tokens as they move. There's a frost line here. When it is moved across the frost line, all players, no matter who played the sun tokens to cross it, have the opportunity to move their animals into the winter den. That is the only way to score your animals. <laughs> um, so uh, you're gonna probably wanna move the one you have the most of. So we're gonna move our toads down to the winter den here. And now these are able to score. And when this crosses the next frost line again, I can either put the fox down here, or if I have more toads, I can add it to them too. But only one type of animal you can move from into the winter den. The game ends when you get to this winter line and you cross over to winter and you play until all players have played an equal turn. And then everyone will have one last chance to move something into the winter den. One more round of that. Um, the other way the end game can be triggered is if three of these uh, leaves are depleted. Uh, that will also um, trigger end game. 
doesn't matter where this is. If this is here, that will stay where it's at. Um, but you will still get one last opportunity to drop a kind of animal to your winter den. Now, end game scoring. It's very, very simple. They're very good about this on the back here. Uh, we have the highest squirrel on the tree gets six acorns. The second highest gets three. Mushrooms, three adult mushroom that are on adjacent leaves, you'll get these amount of points. So one is one, two is three, three is eight, and four is plus one, which means uh, four would be nine, five would be 10, and so on. Uh, winter den. Uh, these are the ones that are only in your winter den. Uh, for one type of animal, you get one. For two, you get three. Three, you get six. Four is plus one. So four, you would get a seven. A five, you would get eight. You also get points at the end for extra sun tokens and leaf cards. For every two of those, you'll get one. And the player with the most acorns wins. It's a very simple, simple game <laughs> to play and set up and still a lot of fun. And I'll so show you So that's everything quick. I can show you on how to set up and play leaf. And I will see you next time for the next game.